Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today it's going to be my experience at Pocono Raceway for the NASCAR Cup Series in 2023. So this is going to be a really fun time for me today, and I've waited six years to come to this race, so it's going to mean a lot to me, and make sure you like and hit the subscribe button and share for the support for my for the support and if you do thank you and I will not be talking that much today in this thing I might I might not even talk at all this might be the only per thing that you're hearing my voice right now so anyways enjoy the video and make sure to leave a like and subscribe Right now, I'm just walking into the Pocono Raceway. Right now, I'm actually going to be, like, voicing over my talking and stuff because I didn't say anything, any words in this video. So I'm just walking in the raceway right now, so... And I'm going to head up to the NASCAR die cash shop. I actually got some pretty cool stuff here with the new 2023 NASCAR die cast from my stop motion series, the Red Car Cup series for season 3. Very fun time. Of course, I went to Joey Logano's first. I got um, the 124 2023 die cast. That's his championship car right there. And he won the 2022 champion. I got some Alex Bowman cars and stuff. I got some Jimmy. I got the Jimmy Johnson 164s as well, so that was cool. Here I found a Chase Elliott car, but last year at Michigan for the 2022 Michigan race I went to, um, they had a kind of lost car, so maybe they just change it every year. This is a very good paid scheme that Chase Elliott has, though. Here's a random Ross Chastain car I found that doesn't look like it's Ross Chastain, but who cares? I just noticed that there's a Team Penske decal on it, and here's Kevin Harvick. And here, um, I don't want to talk about this, but I found this 124 NASCAR die cast shop. It's like in one of the flea markets. And there's actually lots of really good things here. Like, as you can see, I'm going past them all. Lots of old NASCARs. Lots of next gen. Ne lots of gen 7 NASCARs, too. You can see the Dale Hernard C Dale Senior cars right there. There are some Denny Hamlins. They're all sort of two, but the price for them is a little bit too overpriced for the signed ones. That's a Chase Briscoe's twin one. I do not like Chase Briscoe's because my friend Loki does. And that's Bubble Walls. Um, that's an Arca. That's an Arca one, actually. I didn't know they made Arcas. Yeah, here's the 22-22 ones right here. Um, I fun story. I actually got kicked out for tuck for like lifting up one of the signed ones, and then, um, then because I didn't even know that didn't it didn't say anything about not touching them, so I was un I was confused. So I got kicked out for that. Well, it was in the boxes still. Well. That's, that's, um, yeah, I looked at that because I realized that's Donnie Schatz's NASCAR championship car. I do like sprint cars as well, guys, so. Yep, Donnie Schatz. And over here is a 400, like a $400 Dale Earnhardt car. I have no idea why it's so, I, 325 looks like it. I don't know why, just randomly pop up and I found the Joey Logano stuff. Really, really. <laughs> Love this dude. Joey Logano is my favorite driver, if you didn't know already. Got some, found some pretty cool cool diecasts. I really like the 2021 paint scheme, though. I really liked it. But sadly, they switched to, like, the line under the car, which I don't like. 
The 20, I don't like how that one has a garlic on it, too. And you, I think you can hear me. When I cut the video, yup, he walked up to me and stuff and said, do you need help with anything? I was just looking at the cards and stuff because I, really, I was just filming for a video for you guys. Yup, that's his Darlington car right there. Normal car right there. Sorry if you hear TV in the background, by the way. Mm, that's Kevin Harvick, looks like. Yep, that's Kevin Harvick. That's Kevin Harvick. So, yep, that's Kurt Busch's 45 Michael Jordan car. Right there. Um, and here is the part. That's a signed Ryan Blaney car, and I didn't even know about it. I didn't know. I thought these were the signed ones in here in this case. I really like that advanced auto parts car. That's really my favorite. Here's the sign Joey Logano stuff. And yeah, I thought I thought these were the only ones that signed. I didn't even see that they were signed. I'm very sorry who's if you're the owner that's watching this. Yeah, you can see them you can see the hood signed and everything. Yeah, after I got kicked out, I found these NASCARs. Just parts here, so I went to check them out. I found Brad Kitzowski, he won this race. Car. Really like the like the reflection of the numbers and everything. The paint scheme actually looks kind of cool as well. Looks like a super speedway car because you can see the spoiler on the back. It's a little bit extended. Here's me inside of the grandstands right now, going to the infield of the racetrack right now. Here I am going inside of it. All right, we are in the infield of the track, about to go onto the track right now. As we speak, the triangle, boom, inside of the track going on to the pits area. Unlike my experience at Michigan, we actually got to do more stuff here and walk around 
like the pit area instead of us going to see like the first two pit stalls near the entrance. So we could so we could see all the pit stalls and we'll go to our favorite driver's pit stall. Of course Joey Logano's at the back since you're allowed to choose where your pit stalls are now. But yeah. Here's Joey Logano's pit stall. I took a picture of him actually. They were actually putting up the the like Verizon thing on the 2022 top. The 20 up there it is. You can see it right there. They're gonna put it on. Yep, that was pretty cool to go there, but now we're just walking around. I heard some cars in the garage. So I'm going to the garages now. Sadly, I can't go to the garage, but because I don't have like the pet garage pass, you have to be 18 years or older to be in it, but I literally see like little toddlers in there, so that's kind of stupid, in my opinion. Here's if you guys didn't know, I said, here's Austin Sindrick. That's like the only thing I said about me voicing over this thing. So that's why I'm doing this right now. are starting to roll off the cars to the grid um i'm gonna go wait for an hour and 30 minutes to get a die cast signed by joey logano after this clip i believe so and i'm sorry if the zooming in is bad it's because of the weird glitch in here they they I, they saw me recording they had, and they actually took the trophy over to me and stuff like that so that was pretty cool as well and now, um, coming up is getting Joey, getting my autograph, getting Joey Logano's autograph. That was pretty cool for waiting two hours for that to get the front seats. But now we're at the NASCAR race. Now we're only 14 minutes and 43 seconds in. But this video is 51 minutes long. And here's the flyover, boys.
This moment literally gave me goosebumps. Once again, going to say this once again. I waited six whole years today to get to this track and see it in person, so I hope Joey Logano wins, but everyone knows what happens to him that I'm really pissed off about, so I'll just wait for it to happen in the video. Green flag is going to be waving, so I'm just not going to talk a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, just to know I'm not really zooming in on that guy's back. It's just a glitch. It cut off the it cut off half of the screen by the way. So if I zoom up and it's like facing the infield, I'm basically focusing on like the guards and Joey Logano's in third place right now. He has a very really fast car today. First caution came out on lap 3, it's with the 15 car. I had no idea how he got in the top 10 of this race, but he did somehow, in some way. But you can see him on the f side straightaway right there. I couldn't even see the side straightaway, actually. Twenty seconds. 
seconds for the 14 to get out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go back to racing at Pocono. Here they come! When you wear headphones on this car, the cars are so loud that it makes it look like they're super low pitch cars. That's how loud these things are. And I took them off, and they're not even that loud. You go. You just heard my mom say woohoo because my buddy Joey Logano is leading the race. He has a very fast car out here today. As you can see, big gap between Joey Logano and Kyle Larson. Joey Logano is putting a hell of a job out here. Today, hopefully, he can win the race. But as you can see, the gap keeps getting closer and closer on the front straightaway. But Joey Logano keeps getting it back, and hello, kid's face didn't mean to do that. And um, hopefully, he didn't catch up. He doesn't catch up to him. He didn't catch up to him by the end of the stage, but still. Yeah, you can see how the gap keeps getting smaller and smaller between Joey Logano and Kyle Larson, but he get but Logano gets it right back on the on the on like the back straightaway. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn, that's a good flyby for that camera. Everyone's going in the pit lane besides Joey Logano because he wants to stage win. He's very hungry. today. Joey Logano wins stage one at Pocono and stage two is underway. Well, I'm pissed off. Well, you could hear, hear people booing and sh and cheering at the same time. People were like, ooh, and stuff like that. You can love or hate Joey Logano, guys. So, saw lots of Bush and Hamlin fans at, as well. Well, I'm pretty pissed off at Michael McDowell for pulling that move on him. Just a reminder, I waited, um, six years or something. To see Joey, Le my favorite driver, Joey Logano, to get crashed in on stage two. Not even finishing the race. Just let that seek in for a little bit. That's pretty sad, honestly. Oh, shoot. A caution. Wonder what happened. Lightning McQueen, I love your back so much.
Well, I'm just going to be quiet for the rest of the video now until like the very end, so make sure to stay tuned and don't fall asleep because I this is going to be um, kind of boring just watching like cars that sound like lawn mowers go around the track from my camera. I know my camera sucks, but it works. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Grandpa. Oh shoot, I was filming a girl's hair. I was trying to bet I bet I was zooming. Yup. Kyle Larson won Sage One. I mean two. My bad. I bet Austin Dillon is pissed off right now, 100%. This is the last two laps. This get my nervous is up. Come on, True X. I don't want Denny Hamlin in the win.
I don't see NASCAR. What the hell? Call, call a freaking caution. Someone spun out. Jesus. Oh my god, you retards. Don't call it. Call the. They didn't call the caution because the guy didn't hit the inside wall. Are you kidding me right now, NASCAR? What the hell is wrong with you? Now they call it the caution since you didn't start going back. And Hamlin wins. Are you freaking serious? You can hear all the boos and stuff. No cheers besides Hamlin fans. No Kyle Busch fans either. Um, yeah. This is just BS right there. No caution was called for that. Are you serious? Here comes Hamlet to the line, winning the Pocono Raceway race. Waited six years for that. Denny Hamlin's fan. If you're a fan of Denny Hamlin watching this, my personal opinion, I do not like Denny Hamlin. You guys, this is just my own opinion that I'm basically saying right now. But you can hear everyone booing. Only Denny Hamlin fans like Denny Hamlin, I believe so. Kyle Busch is, is a change driver. I honestly don't know why people hate Denny Hamlin. People just do. Honest opinion right here. That's why I'm... And I hate Denny Hamlin for no reason at all. So... I love how when he's doing the burnout, I can look at people's heads because everyone's freaking standing up and I'm a, like a short dude. I'm like 5'11 at 13 years old. So... There's a little bit of him car, but yeah. this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe button really appreciated you guys watching this whole entire video i'll see you guys in a michigan one hopefully this one's shorter at least this one at least this experience video is not an hour long at least thank you guys so much for watching this video see you guys in the next one make sure to leave like and subscribe and share to your friends i'm very sad that logano could not make it through though i waited six years for that just let that seek in but, yeah, I'm really sad about that. Really pissed off, too, about the Michael McDowell for turning him.